is the COO always carrying out the vision or can the COO bring his or her own mark on a company? This depends a great deal, I think, on, on the kind of COO a company has, has wanted to put in place because there are certainly instances, back to Microsoft with Bob Herbold, where it was expected that he was going to sort of break a lot of stuff to then be in a position to build stuff the way it really needed to be. And his task really was to sort of formalize and, and professionalize that organization, right? So he was given a lot of discretion as to how to do that. Um, there are other instances where it's a straight execution play. The board, the CEO, certainly the COO has been a part of those conversations, but it's the board and the CEO that are setting direction and the COO's job is to make it so.